All right, we're live again. Now for something else. Um, let me pull up my Twitch real quick. I want to make sure I'm actually streaming properly. Like I said, every time I move my mouse because I need to buy a new one, it's being stupid. Blank. Aha! I am streaming. Alright, I need to update my stream title though. Alright, how do I do that on, on OBS? Don't know how to do it. Where is the where is the button? Properties. No, that's fine. Uh, it's audio. Uh, da, 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 da. View. Google time. Ah, that's why. There we go. Okay, I fixed the stream info. What? What do you mean armory extension? Oh. Yeah, add the extension. Now you can see what gear I'm using. Okay, I've, I fixed. Now we can launch the game. Or not, because now we have to update. I thought we could launch the game, but Path of Exile had other plans. What the? My webcam isn't working. Properties. Okay, why are you being a butt? Okay, so it's working for scene. 
start virtual camera. OBS virtual camera. All right. Um, I don't know how to use OBS properly. I am a terrible streamer. Properties. Not showing me anything. Why? Stop virtual camera. Okay, let's properties. Primary monitor. Okay. Okay, there we go. Um, I do need to, to fix the alignment on this. Let's, let's full screen that. There we go. Why is this such a pain in the ass? Why did they have to stop support for the actual Twitch one? The actual Twitch one was great. Properties. Defaults. Yes. How do I fix it? I cannot fix it. Ah, well, that works. Let's put that there. Scroll up here. Shrink it way down, drag. Shrink it way down, drag. Aha. And put that there. And expand ever so slightly. Let's see how, how the, the capture looks. Huh, looks good enough. All right. Back in your box. All right, so we are playing our character Melee, Melee Friar. He's a cyclone character. What the? As you can see, he's level 89 and he's a slayer. Stop that! I go up 
just slightly. Okay. I had to get it to where I could hit the stop streaming button if I needed to. This is why I didn't want to stream, but I'm, I'm doing it anyway, because I need to get back in the habit. I also need to pull my hair out of my face. Let's tuck it behind the headphone. That didn't help. I think my, my best solution is going to be to get a haircut. My hair's getting too long. Okay, we're in. We're going to ignore general chat. In point of fact, I'm going to move my, my uh, we can drag, put that up there. Let's go to the hideout. Let's see if my face is covering general chat. Looks good? Okay. Because I don't want somebody to say something in general chat and then have me get in trouble. So, uh, as you can see, I haven't gotten, unfortunately, I haven't gotten any Tier 17 maps yet. But I have done everything from Tier 1 through Tier 16. And I'm just missing, uh, if I go over to my fragments, one of each for Elder and Shaper Guardian fragments. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to take a tier 15 underground river map. We're going to elk it, make sure it's not monsters cannot be leached. And we're going to be using my Atlas skill tree number two, which I'll pull up the skill tree, zoom way out. You can see is about getting the master missions done. This is not my farming tree, this is, I'm doing a specific challenge tree. Specifically, the proven professionals. As you can see, I need four more Einhars, 11 more Juns, etc, etc, etc. But, for, for just running red tier maps, it's perfectly fine. I like Underground River because it's a straight shot from one end to the other. Now my character is by no means the best geared character around. Blood has been shed today, warrior. A wise choice indeed. All right, I'm definitely having net issues Hello. today. Excellent. I'm I'm having super lag on input. It's like everything is taking a couple seconds. Be careful. Yeah, see, th th this is this is like god awful. Cool winds. I've already unlocked almost all of the uh, betrayal crafts, but like I said, I'm just doing this for the challenge. Surprise test of strength, exile! Oh, really, Jorgen? Might makes right. Again, don't particularly care about, you know, betrayal, but it's there. So once I'm done with uh, 
probably this map I'm going to turn off the stream because this is I, I cannot enjoy content play like this and it you know it's because I'm in an area with a profound lack of internet I'm in the middle of farmland so One of the things about my particular build, and one of the reasons why it's not particularly geared, is I have not been able to find a Neg 15 mana cost chest, and I am rubber banding like a mofo. There you go, drop air, come on. So I have been making do with a Neg 6 mana cost chest, or Neg 6 mana cost rings, and a Meg man across engine. Do not worry, little beast. We are friends now. So I technically have neg nine mana cost, which is not enough. I need the neg fifteen because that would make me have no mana cost on my spinning attack. My cycle. Oh god, this rubber banding is terrible. Because my my internet is not designed for uploads, it's designed for downloads. This one is captured. I now will take it. Glennon is not worth the time. I only I only support my bros shooting Danig and Rog. Rog does not have anything worth supporting in the wild either. Let's now you don't want to just stand and spin in place on a red beast. Because they, if they hit you it will hurt. Because they only have, you know, 3500 health. In the beast. Now, if I wanted to support Gwen, I have to make sure I don't hit this one because I only deal physical damage. <laughs> Oh god, my mouth went out. Okay. That's not bad. If I could if I could get that down to just the, the socketed melee damage, that would be a pretty good good flex ripper. I need those breach rings for another challenge. Disappointing. Alright, John. The final this is the final one. This way. Spin through. Now the 
Just the guy is. Kill the guy. Come on, Leo. This one is going to hurt, isn't it? I'm a man of limit. Next time you see me, really? I'll Can be a new man with a new plan. Lessons. Why did I do that? Well, either way, the point is I don't particularly care, so. Choose a random one. Celerin. Throw it on the floor. Cool winds. Choose one that I don't have. Blessings. Throw it on the floor. Alright, that should be everything. Alright. Let's get out of here. We'll come back and do Cassia at the end. Oh, the drop there. The last piece. The drop there is defeated. Now, the downside to this particular skill tree, or Atlas skill tree, is... That I don't have any uh, blade pickaxe. So as you can see, everything costs the full cost. Oh, for click the button! Come on, it's not that hard. I'm so used to everything responding instantly. Ah, fuck. Well, rip that boy. I'm not particularly worried about that, and I will show you why. Open the stash. Thank you. If I go down to. Oh, that's my unique stash. This one. Yes. As you can see, well, you can't see because my my webcam is in the way. As you can see, I have a butt pile of blighted maps I can run whenever I want. I have a ton of blight oils I can use whenever I want. Because my main farming tree, which I used predominantly prior to this point, there we go, has been one that was focused on expeditions and blights. But right now, like I said, I'm going for a challenge that requires a specific tree. And all of this has been self farmed. I. Uh, other than my gear on my character, I haven't, like, traded for currency, I haven't traded for respec orbs or anything like that. Uh, I have literally only bought gear. Okay, I'm gonna stop jumping because it's making me rubber band like a mofo. Realistically, this the streaming while doing this is making me rubber band like a mofo. Because like I, I'm running on a hot spot, so my internet's not exactly designed for uploads. It's designed for downloads. So uploading to Twitch while trying to do this is going to make me keep rubber banding. Oh god, this... Ugh. This is almost as bad as that Borderlands 3 stream before I upgraded my PC.
I know the only thing I'm getting from this is these two, but that's fine. So yeah, we're gonna get to the map boss, kill the map boss, and then I'm gonna stop streaming because this is... No. This is an entire world of no. Oh, this is not this. That would be a definite no on, on Lag City like this. Oh, hey, I can handle this. Man, these are... The prismatic eclipses are real common right now. It used to be how you would get screen-wide cyclones back in the day. Alright, it's that bell. Drop bear is short in there. Not to even come if that die. You don't have any crit on, so I'm not worried about you, uh, about me just standing still. Oh, I am worried about that tornado. They hit like trucks. As exhibited. If that fell exploded and killed me! What I like to do when I'm running maps is if I'm running for the challenges, I'll just start with a red map and keep running whatever maps drop. So like uh, last night, for example, I was running, I started with a tier 11 boundary map and eventually I just kept running until I wound up in tier 16s. Then I started saving those, so I started if a tier 15 dropped, I would run that instead. Because I want to see if I can trade three tier 16s for a tier 17. Because those are the only maps I haven't done yet. And if I can get those, I'll have a full atlas. I haven't had a full atlas since Bestiary League. Like, streaming would be okay if I was, like, streaming Terraria or, like, you know, an offline game or, like, maybe Final Fantasy XV or, you know, something like that. But, uh, yeah, I cannot stream games that have an internet component right now. It's taking me way too long just to walk to the end of the map. Pick up the portal scrolls. The way I have extras for when I leave. to the end of the map. Ooh, he gave me a free tier 60. Pick it up. Thank you. Are you Agnarod West or are you another Agnarod? Let's find out. Oh, god damn it. I already have one of you. Fucking Agnarods. Won't ever give me the one I want. Because you need four Agnarods. You need Agnarod North, West, East, and South. And if you have all four, you get a unique courtyard map. Um, I don't really think it'd be worth crafting this, so... We're going to sell it. 
We're gonna take the orbital fusions. I don't have a lot of crafting currency built up, so let's deposit the 13 and deposit the 16. We'll go over to our to our rings tab. Put our breach rings in our breach ring pile. When we get 60 of them, I can do another challenge. Out of this, I need to take you, 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 you. You can go back in there. You, 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 you. I can't take all those. Not all at once, anyway. Blood of the Karui. Sorrow of the Divine. Serious Promise. Seamus' Gift. And Writhing Jar. They will all go in the... Oh, this, this has got a flash tag. Writing jar and the uniques. The series and the uniques. Sorrow of the Divine. I already have them. So you can be sold. Blood of the Carway. Q. Dendro. Osium. Axiom Perpetuum. Soul Wrist. Janus's Inextricable Fate, Wanda Lust. History, history repeats itself. I bought the, the unique tab because I was like, I'm, I'm tired of having to have multiple tabs of uniques. Uh, Relentless Fury, Tabula, Lion Eyes, Dressos, Wachali. Tabula Mantula. Call. Pretty sure I already have. I know I already have one of these, but pretty sure I also already. Well, let's take you. Not you. So go back in there. You. No, I have one of you. Don't know if I have one of you. Soul catcher. Thank you. Thieves. Fury Valve. Soul Mantle. City Breath. Sign I already have in there. Put my rose in there. So, in terms of duplicates, if I get any duplicate unique rings, they go in there waiting for me to be able to just turn those into a lore weave. Pretty sure I already have a white wind in there, but Snake Pit Sapphire. Alright, Chain of Endurance. White Wind is already in there. Yep. Snake Pit. So let's sell off the extra white wind. History repeats itself. As I don't particularly care for white wind. Bye. All right, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream because, like I said, it's killing my bandwidth. So, next time.